Hello guys, I am back still updating you what is going on. What is trending in Nigeria? Greetings to you, wherever you are. So I have this uh, quick update to share with you. And then um, personally for me, though it is my own personal opinion, all right? So I'm thinking this is another, um, you know, plot from other political party, you understand, uh, to destabilize the obedient movement. Yeah, what am I saying? Peter B have reacted to the development so far so good. Um, as the Labour Party appoints eight individuals to manage the affairs of the obedient directorate to integrate millions of Nigerian youth, especially those from the obedient family, into the larger party structure. But however, Peter B insisted that the obedient movement transcend any political party. All right, um, Peter B has clarified that the obedient movement is not a directorate of any political party and uh, transcend any uh, traditional political affiliation. You understand? Uh, the obedient movement is an inclusive collective aiming for positive change in Nigeria, emphasizing integrity, fairness, and accountability. All right, um, according to uh, Peter B, of course, we already know about the uh, the origin of the obedient or the obedient movement it began uh, in 2022 when uh, Peter Obi, um, known for his uh, humility, joined the Labour Party, and then the, subsequently, you understand when he wanted to run for 2023 uh, presidential election. So the development is that uh, Labour Party is trying to kind of, you know, manage. Uh, the obedient movement, appointing people, you know, trying to make the obedient movement look as if it is a group of political party or whatsoever, but no. So that is the reason why Peter Bean have uh, reacted to the development. Obedient movement is not just, it's not a Labour Party, uh, you know, a members. Yeah, let me put it that way. Obedient movement uh, is not a, a Labour Party members. That is just the truth. Now, if you look at the Labour Party registrar or their membership list, you realize that the vote Peter B got or Labour Party got, courtesy of Peter B, that is the reason why Labour Party is not joking with Peter B because courtesy of Peter B, Labour Party has not, um, have not been able, have not produced senator for about 20 years. Let me put it that way. Yes, it is true. I stand to be corrected. I think for over 10, 15, 20 years, Labour Party has not been able to produce senator. You understand? But courtesy of Peter Obi, during that 2023 election, uh, Labour Party now have senators, House of uh, Rep members, and so on. Courtesy of Peter Obi, remember that election was... Um, simultaneous both presidency and national assembly so everybody that goes there to vote you understand they don't want to know if they are voting for president or national assembly all of them they know papa mama and Pekin. wherever they see papa mama and Pekin, that is where they vote so in that way labor party was able to produce um house of a uh, rep member was able to produce a uh, senator so now it is not about the obedient fam. The obedient family is not political party members. That is the truth. All right. So now when these people have seen that obedient family has grown to large extent, remember Peter B was in a uh, nationwide tour and also international tour uh, to meet and greet obedient family, both home and abroad. So I don't know why who's idea to you know, elect eight people to come and manage the affairs of obedient family. I mean, I don't know whose idea it is. So Peter B have reacted to it. So in his post, Peter B said, um, I like to state that obedient movement is not a directorate of any particular political party. Any individual or individuals claiming to be leaders of this non-existent directorate are not members of the broader obedient movement. There may be a huge mobilization directorate in political parties, but the obedient movement is far beyond 
a particular political party. The obedient movement is a diverse and inclusive collective transcending traditional political, religious, and ethnic affiliations. It is not domicile within any particular party or <clears throat> headquartered in any particular part of the country. Its membership span Africa and the globe, comprising individuals from various backgrounds, including rural communities and public, private, and corporate entities, united by a shared vision for a new and better Nigeria. Guided by the principles of adaptive and transformative change, progress, discipline, and uh, democratic value, the obedient movement advocate for fairness, equity, inclu inclusivity, and justice. It is committed to a strictly accountability and responsible code of government. Our members are committed to contributing to the realization of a better future for Nigeria through the new Nigeria project anchored on loyalty, integrity, and democratic values. The obedient movement seeks to foster positive change through a commitment to integrity, honesty, and accountability. Rejecting deceitful behaviors, we serve as a beacon of hope for a reimagined Nigeria, where leadership is grounded in character, capacity, competence, compassion, and the well-being of all citizens. Let this serve as a clarification that the obedient movement operates independently of any political party and its membership is not limited to any particular affiliation. Our focus remains steadfast on driving positive change and promoting a new Nigeria for all. This is who we are and will remain for all time. All right, so um, that is the statement of uh, Peter B. All right, so... Um, Peter B's statement underscore the inclusive and independent nature of the obedient movement. So, which aim to unite Nigeria from all walks of life in pursuit of a better future for the country. All right. So, I don't know his idea. Just like I told you guys. So, Peter B have responded to that because, like I told you guys, there are some saboteurs. This is what I noticed. Even after the 2023 election, we also saw what happened um, in the Labour Party. I'm talking about the Lamide Papa faction and Julius Abure faction. You understand? And then sometimes I try to imagine that people call themselves members or leadership of Labour Party, but seems not to be aligning with the affairs of Labour Party. Now, what am I saying? Take a typical example. This man, uh, um, Aram Bibi, all right? Time without numbers. A member of a Labour Party, always supporting, criticizing your own people in your own political party, no matter what it is. You understand? And now supporting uh, uh, another political party. I'm talking about the uh, Lamidi. Uh, no, uh, forgotten this man name, but Ram Bibi or Ram Pambi, something like that. I've forgotten. I don't know how to pronounce that man name, to be serious. Okay, he's always criticizing Peter Obi. Peter Obi, that is the leader of the political party you belong. And you're always criticizing him. It doesn't make sense to me. So don't be surprised, even in Labour Party, they are saboteurs in Labour Party. It is not hard. This is politics. It is not hard for a particular political party to sponsor their own people. Say, so, okay, fine. Defect the Labour Party. Go and find out the affairs of that political party. Bring in information to us. Get as much information, their secret and others. That is what they do in politics. When you see people defecting, they will. everybody will be happy. Uh, this one, PDP have defected to APC. APC have defected to PDP. Let me tell you the truth. They are going there. They have agents. That is their work. They will sponsor them to defect to another political party just to go and get information, more information about that political party. That is the weapon they will be using to work. All right, guys. So that is the latest update I have for you. Peter will be as kick against uh, the directorate uh, from Labour Party to manage the affairs of obedient family. Obedient family is not... 
is a movement, not a political party affiliation or whatsoever. All right, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.